Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Rifkel. It's been a while. I felt like doing a Zelda randomizer. Today's been a, a good day for just stuff. So we're going to give it a shot, see if I can uh, not completely embarrass myself. If you see this video, it means I probably didn't completely embarrass myself. Okay, we're doing a traditional run. That means Uncle Sword, not open world. <laughs> Bookshot? Well then. That is an amazing start. I'm also going to just warn you, it has been a long time since I've watched or uh, watched any of these randomizer videos or anything, so if I'm a little rusty, I apologize. I've been playing a lot of other games. Uh, <laughs> Zelda randomizers, I think, still the biggest thing on my channel. Like, the, the longest running. probably not be playing as cleanly as I could be, um, and as far as decision making goes, I'm making no promises if I put that stuff. Okay. Uh, we are killing as many guards as- or we are killing some guards, rather, along the way, because bombs? There we go. So now we know we can get bombs from the regular green guards. They're easy to kill, so I'll probably go ahead and kill two. We just want to make sure we don't stun them first. Um, because yeah, bombs. We want at least one. We've got the one we need. But if there are more bombs along the way, that's great. We did get one green rupee for killing an enemy that had been stunned. So that's gonna be consistent throughout the run. Which is basically the worst thing we can do. So there's no point in uh, stunning people for treasure. Oops. Okay, if I die during escape, I'm gonna. If I die during escape, you will not be seeing this video. <laughs> Where I'm, like I said, I am aware that I am really rusty, probably not playing as well as I can be. That's not a bad start. <laughs> I mean, I would prefer to get, you know, items that contribute to go mode, but I'll take a, I'll take a bunch of rupees. <laughs> that means at absolute worst, we can go down to the shop to get uh, bombs also. If we need more, because we need, we've got one. <laughs> So we're good for the escape, but that's it right now. I'm trying to think of what else you can do with the hook shot in World of Balance this early. Not much. <laughs> uh, we need. It makes Death Mountain being accessible much more exciting. Let's 
just gonna kill some of these little lame guards while I'm walking by again in case they drop a bomb. Uh, we need what, four bombs, I think, for Kakariko, so... And it's always good to have bombs in, this, uh, in these runs. It's... yeah. Actually, you know what? I haven't done this in a while, so I'll start with my intro. So for those who are not aware, <laughs> this is a Link to the Past randomizer. That means it is the game, A Link to the Past, except for the contents of every treasure chest in the game have been rearranged. Uh, that's why we got the hook shot right off the bat. Uh, that's why we got all those rupees. Uh, this means that the keys in every dungeon are in different places. Hey. Or can be, rather. Uh, that means that the boss keys can be in different places. That means that the, uh, you know, the items like the hookshot can be anywhere in the game, any treasure chest. Uh, so a lot of this game is a puzzle. It's figuring out where you can go next, how, or where to go, uh, oop. <laughs> oh, that was more nerve-wracking than it should have been. That whole, uh, I haven't played this game in a while thing. Okay. So, uh, the other thing that's randomized is where the crystals and pendants are. That being, uh, which bosses you actually need to get the Master Sword pedestal or to beat Ganon. So our goal in this is not to go through the normal game with get the three medallions, get the three, you know, you don't have to beat the levels in order. <clears throat> so Tower of Hera is not necessarily even required because it's a pendant. And in this version of the game, uh, pendants are very rarely required. We need it if we need to get the Master Sword Pendant, and we need it if we need to get uh, the Lumberjack House item. Otherwise, we don't. <laughs> 20 rupees isn't bad. Bad rhythm there on the chopping. Single rupee, not needed. Okay, we're gonna wander over through the forest here. Uh, Lost Woods has two items in it. Then we're gonna hit Kakariko Village, which is, I think, 15 items? Something like that? It's a lot. Do a hard container, it's early. We don't have any yet. <laughs> so, yeah, anywhere that hard containers can be dropped, anywhere uh, the items that the bosses drop at the end aren't always hard containers. Um, hammer. Ugh. Okay. I mean, <clears throat> don't get me wrong, that's actually a really good start. But that also means that we're probably going to be rushing off to uh, Dark World fairly early, and we don't have anything defend or any items defensive or offensive to contribute to that. So.
So I think I mentioned kind of halfway, or I kind of halfway mentioned uh, this being a race. Uh, currently, I mean, I will send this uh, to my friends Kyle and Mike. Most of the time it's just a race against yourself as much as anything. Bottles, awesome. We're in really, really good bow. Boomerang. This is a really good run. <laughs> like... We'll see if it stays that way. <laughs> But bow means we can go to Eastern Palace right away. Um, technically, we'd need lamp, potentially. Technically. <laughs> uh, I can do most of it in the dark, so I may still try that. We'll see what else we get, also. We've got a lot to go before we even have to deal with that. Bomb capacity up. Take it. Magic powder. Uh, one of the things that's on my list, especially if we get flippers, but maybe just to go do, is we do have enough rupees and the, uh, now the magic powder to get, uh, Zora. King Zora. need a bottle to talk to that kid. We got two already. Oh good. <laughs> um let's see. Nothing there, nothing there. I feel like I'm forgetting something. on this. Oh, actually that's, I wasn't even thinking about that. And actually we can't do the witch. We can do this. I, I lucked into that, I'll be honest. Blue mail. Okay. I'm feeling safer already. <laughs> We've finally got a heart container and a blue mail. Uh, We'll go do... Okay, so we're gonna go check the library. Uh, the reason we check the library is so we know whether or not we need to rush back with Pegasus Boots when we get it. And then we'll go check the item in the race. Heart container, don't need to buy. We're not trying to 100%. <laughs> we're trying to get enough to beat in. Moon Pearl is a good thing to get, and a necessity, so we'll get that quick. Saving Quit is allowed in case you get randomly stuck. Uh, there's very few places you can actually get stuck at this point. They've got done a pretty good job of getting the bugs out, but it is just assumed that you can get... It's effectively a death war. Um, so now that we've done that, I'm going to go completely the wrong way. As is my way. Not completely, I guess. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 
Ether. I could have. Yeah, probably not worth it. There's a couple glitches that work in this because it's the 1.0 Japanese version of the ROM. Uh, one of them allows you to basically warp through pushed blocks. Dumb, bombs. I'm just kind of trying to keep options open here because this thing is good for these. And if we don't have to go over there, those guys actually hit really hard. A lot of the stuff on this side of the uh, lake is fairly hard hitting, so. Uh, that heart container we just got was actually, uh, the one from the Sanctuary that you would normally get, uh, like, behind Zelda and the Priest. The way you can tell is because it filled up our hearts. Uh, all the other ones, the bosses don't actually fill up the hearts, uh, it's... Or the heart containers don't fill up, it's the medallion or the, um... What am I trying to say? The pendants and the crystals uh, fill up your hearts instead. So these crabs, uh, if you don't have... So if you're in green tunic, they hit for, I think, two, damn, two whole hearts? I think in blue tunic it's still a whole heart. They hit pretty hard. That's the important part. <laughs> Fire rod. Okay. So we still don't have the lamp. We don't have uh, the book. We can technically go to... No, we need power glove. I think we need to go at least through the beginning of this. It's a good place to go anyway. We get the three Sahasrila items. Uh, we can get everything except the bombs. Uh, without the lamp. Because I can do the two other rooms in the dark. I can try getting through the that room. Oop. Pendant is Turtle Rock, you just said. So now we know that. The single arrow. Okay, we... One random note here is we do not have the mirror. So even if we do have a way, or even if we do go into the dark world, we can't currently get back. Eastern Palace. So, if we need to redo this, I'll be a little sad, but it happens plenty of times. I'm not going to be too upset. <clears throat> the only way I'll be upset is if, uh, the... Lamp was at Zora's uh, domain since I skipped it. <laughs> I didn't really skip it, I just haven't gone yet. I was considering it. 
Hook shot means we can actually skip that room up there. Hook of Madura. We actually get to do the first two levels in order. Except, you know, with the fire rod and... Hook shot. And apparently, I have been playing too many video games today because my thumb is starting. So there's normally four skeletons that spawn there. Uh, if you pick that up in that wet area, pick up the pots and walk in a certain pattern, you can negate them. I can get those. All right, I've gotten it down to three most of the time at this point. I don't know how to do the pattern to do the last ones. Master sword. Okay. right now, so we are going to do this the safe way. Rather than normally I would just damage boost there. So the enemy... The boss has the map. Um, that's the only item we don't have yet. God, I hate this next room. We're not going to try it. We're good. Uh, we can do desert next. Um, we need power glove is uh, to complete desert. But we can at least put a good dent in it and, again, get most of the treasure, get everything except for the boss. At absolute worst, we come back through and just start smoking these bosses with, you know, silver arrows and uh, gold sword. I mean, beating Lemelis with uh, that's or with a uh, fire rod is also pretty brutal. Desert Cave. There's a pillar there. Why not? All the rupees. So once we get Power Glove, we can get pretty much everywhere. I mean, we, we have a fairly versatile array of items at this point already. Hammer and uh, Bookshot are two of the big restrictions. Thank <laughs> you. 
power glove, lamp, flute are some of the big ones we still need, but we also know we don't need to do Turtle Rock, <laughs> uh, which is kind of awesome. Wow. Well, I did warn you that I was a bit rusty. <laughs> that was terrible. That, in particular, was terrible. We'll also figure out here if we need the boots. We do. We need the boots. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So we can do the big chest. We'll see what it is. If it's the boots or the power glove, we can continue. If it's not, then we move on. Probably Zorus, like I had mentioned. Oops. Where am I going? Besides the wrong... I can't think of anything else besides Zora's domain that we've got open right now. Like, everything else requires something. <laughs> get to Zora's domain without the power glove. I forgot about. Oh. <laughs> well. I made a joke about early Dark World. By joke I meant Looming prophecy. Looks like we do have to fight Aghanim after all. We have the Master Sword, that's all you need. Unfortunately, that means we have to run the gauntlet and such. But we can abuse like fire rod and some of the other good items we have to just clear through it as fast as we can. Hammer also does a make short work of a lot of these guys. It's just tricky to use. I didn't know you need a lamp for that. What am I forgetting?
What am I forgetting? I'm seriously blanking out right now. <laughs> Like, all the desert stuff, all the... I'm probably missing one chest. It's probably somewhere obvious. Mike is probably screaming at me right now. I'm just gonna double check to make sure I'm remembering a couple things right. Yeah? Okay, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's about the point I'm at right now. Is I'm remembering the game mechanics, right? <laughs> Okay, we've got those two, those five, that one, that one, that one. Can't get the key, because it's on a pedestal which we need the key. Okay. Um. Now down here. Those require the... this requires the shovel. Which we don't have, right? Right. Book. Which does not help. Archery minigame doesn't have anything. We got the moon pearl. That's a heart piece. We got that, uh, the bat cave. We got the back of the hut. We got the bug catching kid. We did not get the chicken lady. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so upset. I've got stuck on this one before too. Lamp. Well, I feel a little better. <laughs> that didn't cost me everything. Uh, did that. That's not a thing. We already did that. I'm gonna double check this because I know I've forgotten it before. Yep, got that. This requires, yep, power glove. We got the two in the forest. We got the ones in sanctuary. We got all the che- I'm pretty sure we got all the chests on during the escape. Dash boots. Flippers to get Zora. Nothing there, nothing there. Three from Sahasrila. 
Alright, we're back up to the hospital's cave. supposed to be able to get in the first dungeon. We've got, the f we've got two items in the second dungeon. We can't get more because of... Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be so up... This is another... Duh. I did not check the ledge in the desert. And it's gotta be something we need, or I'm completely missing something that changed or that I'm just not thinking of. I have run into a couple times where there were weird patches uh, to the randomizer that changed the way that the game logic worked. But I don't think there's been any big ones recently. Same version as the last one I downloaded. I didn't even run that one, <laughs> but I read the notes when I did it. I'm an idiot. Here's the trick. <laughs> we still don't have... Oh, wait, no, we do have the boss key, so we can actually... We can go through and beat this boss. We can't get the other two treasure chests until we get the... The key. One of which is a real item. So we'll need to remember that. But we can go beat the boss. As long as it's not, the, uh, as long as the boss doesn't drop the m compass, we're only one item short. Because the other ones are dungeon items, the key and the map, or key and compass rather. Uh, we can't do turtle, or we can't do Death Mountain yet. Him, so we'll do that. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get a couple hits in with the fire rod while I can. And if I end up needing a blue potion, I will do more. Um, in fact, I think I will try and do a bit with my sword first. finish one off with a fire rod if I, or if I just get a good shot I'll take it Ooh. 
There we go. Herpes. Crystal. So, that means that there's one item still missing in here, but it's not. Uh, hopefully we won't need it immediately, because <laughs> we need the boots first. So we're missing the boots and the lamp right now to finish, uh, these, to clear, finish clearing these dungeons. Um... I'm thinking Thieves Town <clears throat> or yeah, let's stop over here quick first. So since we don't have the mirror, we have to save quit out between every single time we go to the park. <clears throat> so we do want to minimize that and try and get as much as we can per visit. Jeez, I think I've been talking for like 10 hours today. <laughs> okay, it wasn't 10. I think it was about 8. 7 or 8. Oh, plus this. So, yeah, a little bit closer. So this has another 5 treasure chests. Um, that guy counts as 1. Flute. Uh, flute gives us access to Death Mountain without the lamp, which means we can do the whole. So I'll check here quick. Okay, so we need to do. We do need blind. We do need Swamp Palace, which we have all the stuff for, and we're right here. But we need the mirror. We need... Oh, we need flippers. Duh. We need flippers for Ice Palace. We need... Uh, so we can go do... Blind. Let's go do... Uh, Tree Stone Kid while we're here. It's kind of out of the way, and... I mean, if we had the mirror and the shovel, it would be better and more efficient. And normally I do it as part of the uh, quest for the treasure chest at the end. Um... Let's... Well, you know what? While we're here, I'm gonna go ahead. It's a little out of the way. By a little out of the way, I mean it's a bit of a walk. Uh, I think... I'm gonna go do... I think we can go do Catfish. And I think we can go do... Pyramid. So let's do those. Those are both really out of the way. There's not really a good time to get them. If we happen to die, it's not like we're losing. <laughs> I mean, genuinely, I have a potion and I am choosing not to use it. Because if I happen to die, it just means that it stops me from getting one or two items before I save the quit out. That are really out of the way and gonna take some walking either way. <clears throat> See, that's a good one. Oh. Sorry about the beeping. Normally it's uh, quieter, actually. Oh. I wish I had the mirror. Although actually now I can do Zora and the witch in one go. 
which is why I wish I had the mirror. <laughs> I do not have flippers yet, so I can't do waterfall or the second item from Forest Oracle. It's close. Come on, catfish. Give me something good. Thanks, Catfish. You're always the best. So, normally it seems like you need the uh, Titan Mitt to get this, but you don't. <laughs> uh, you need either the Titan Mitt or the Hammer and the Power. So the trick is, you go around this way. Instead of going directly to the portal. down, and then you're good. Although I just realized that I should actually go activate them. Yeah. I should. <laughs> That's a bit more annoying. I probably should have just kept going. I'm still gonna do blind? I don't think blind's dungeon has any dark rooms, and I've got this. All you need to beat it is, or to 100% it is the hammer. It's not super hard. There's some stuff that hurts, but I got blue mail and <laughs> three heart containers. And the boss doesn't matter what, or it doesn't matter what you have with the boss. Blind is uh, nine hits from anything, pretty much. You can use all kinds of items, which I will probably end up using the uh, staff of uh, Samaria. Uh, Treasure chests. Don't have the big or the Titan points, so we can't get a lot of the stuff uh, at the bottom there. The stuff for the overworld here is actually really limited. Uh... 
still gonna do this first. Because I don't have the mirror to go do all the fetch quests. So we just got Titan's Mint. Uh, that's great, because that means that when we get up to the Death Mountain, we can actually do all of Light Side, flip, and go do all of Dark Side. Which is perfect. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong there? Of the stuff in this dungeon is worth getting. Assuming we don't die for him, which we might. This is not helped by the fact that I do not have, or that only one of my bottles is actually a potion. I'm gonna start playing a little safer, I think. Unfortunately, hitting guys with uh, the hook shot causes them to drop rubies. As we are aware. But I can always uh, switch one of, or switch the uh, anti fairy if I need to. I've got powder. They are stupid little bugs. <laughs> or frogs, or whatever they are. I think they're supposed to be like baby Dongo, Dongos or something. Which, if they are, it makes no sense why they're up here. any or we've got one crystal so far is all and we're about an hour in but we've got a good chunk of navigation stuff so it's mostly just time to get where we need to go um i have a feeling that this is going to be a run where at certain point i'm just gonna be able to start breezing through dungeons without even stopping uh, which we refer to as go mode when you have Basically, when you already have all the stuff you need, you just need to literally go do the dungeons. I mean, given the fact that we don't need the ice rod, we are actually in really good shape. big ones I can think of. I'm okay with that. That's actually one of my preferred weapons against uh, against blind. Thank you. 
New light bulb invented? Enlighten me. Three. Both the King of Burnout and the Staff of Samaria are really good against blind. Uh, like, surprisingly good. <laughs> um, Shovel game. Uh, yeah, let's get a shoot. <laughs> It'll probably help a little. Then I think we're doing Death Mountain. Death Mountain is full of stuff. It is one of the highest population densities of stuff. I can't remember if we can... Oh crap, now we can't get rid of them. Okay, let's see if this works, because I can't remember. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. So, you have to... Er, you can do the fetch quests without the mirror, you have to save put out, and then walk all the way back. It's annoying. <laughs> I would prefer not to do it. But hey, at this point we've got him. We can't do the shovel game with a person following us, so we need to uh, finish this quest before we continue. Again. 20 rupees, way better than the tempered sword, totally. Um, loot. Clout. Eastern part first. You can technically go do the tower, and I might because it's a short dungeon, but it's not a required dungeon. Also, I'm going to not jump into that portal like I just about did because we don't have the mirror, and that would be silly. Start with Drop Cave. It's called Drop Cave because we just dropped. Let me go up. There are five more chests here. 
Back down here. Whew. Excuse me. It's been a long day. Tower quick. We have access to it. We're gonna kick ourselves if we don't. <laughs> and it ends up being important. Plus, it gives us a. We can go check Ether Tablet while we're here. We know that we don't need to do Spectacle Rock. next to them are the arrow upgrades. They mixed all of those in to reduce the pool of just absolute garbage. standing on the peg <laughs> Except you can't be hit at that point. So, uh, you basically just stand in the pegs and the tiles fly at you and do nothing. Thank you. 
We're just gonna do this part by the book. For safety. Lamp. No. So many rupees. What I just said. Remember what I just said about how that's my least favorite boss in all of Zelda? That's why. Right there. That. That specific thing that just happened. Getting knocked down to the center hole of that boss. Oh my god. I get a good shot, we'll try to do the hammer. Uh, the hammer counts as a tempered sword hit, so it only takes three hits instead of six. Which prevents him from speeding up at the end. I already knew that that wasn't anything at that point, didn't I? Eh. Whatever. Silver arrows. Lamp. Flippers. Boots. Silver arrows. Lamp. Flippers. Which, considering how many dungeons I've done, is actually a really good list <laughs> to have. I'm sure I'm forgetting something else. This way... these I can get past. Normally you have to like do this whole... No, oh, I did that wrong. Normally you have to do this whole go up the stairs and drop thing like four to three or four times. And we do these skips to get past that and it ends up being I think two. If you do all the skips it's one. It's always at least one. Oh, 
swords. Swords would be nice for Ganon too. I suppose. But I mean, all things considered, that's still a solid list. to do Aghanim, like I thought I did. Um, we've got the flute so we can get around quick. Let's do... Let's start here. This is really easy. Gives us another point we can start from if we need to. And it's a another healing point, and it's an item. So, start there. Uh, next will be... really don't want to do Eastern again, or to go through Eastern right now. I'd prefer to do it uh, while I do Palace of Darkness, because if you go through Palace of Darkness with a mirror, uh, or get up to Palace of Darkness with a mirror, you can just walk back to the entrance. But we don't have the mirror, so that's another thing on our list that we need. We should be able to still do House of Darkness, so we'll do that next. Um, once we've cleared these two, if we get the mirror and the flippers, we can do Swamp next. Misery with what we've got. Actually, we can do Misery Mire. So, oh, depending on the tablet or the pendant it takes. We've only got Ether. So, we'll see how that goes. This is the room that I do not know how to do dark. You have to kill both of those eye guys in order to clear it. I believe. spot that the bow is actually required. I totally spaced off the fact that that takes two. It's 
close. Bit more cigar. Darkness could have an item though. Requires bow, hammer, lamp, bombs. So we're good. And we'll even take this side path that most people don't take. Just cause. Something a little different. Pulse of Darkness is actually probably one of the biggest dungeons besides like Pearl Rock. Maybe Ice Bolts. Um, they're, they're all pretty solid sized. Uh, and Ice Palace has a pretty good amount that can be skipped. Also, Darkness and Turtle Rock don't. <laughs> like, Misery Mire is big on scale, but it doesn't actually have much substance to it. <laughs> when I started playing through this game, uh, that was always the one that intimidated me the most. As I remember that I probably should have done this first. Since we've got the key, we'll do this. This requires a key and usually just gives you a key, <laughs> but it's worth double checking. Then we jump down here, which takes us to the same place as we jumped off the other bridge.
chests. Another key. Uh, red is right. No, it's not. in that side room or it's down here. It's a good thing we don't care if we're so low on rupees. This is such a great room. Flippers are great. We are so close to go mode right now. So much higher chance now of getting the right uh, medallion. We're up to two thirds for Misery Meyer. Should be able to go through here now. one guy. Mike yelled at me once. have access to all the dungeons. Uh, the big thing we don't have is swords, honestly. Like 
genuinely. Silver arrows, swords. And I think we're good. I'm sure... Boots? Shouldn't be necessary? Technically not necessary? God, I hate that room. I'm actually really low on health right now. Also. Luckily, Helmosaur is usually pretty straightforward. Like, this isn't one of the super hard bosses. Eight regular arrows or a single silver arrow. Wait, what? Crap. Well, actually, that's not that bad. I mean, all things considered, that means I could have exited uh, if I was paying attention to my tr uh, chest count at that point. a bottle. While I do find golden bee strats interesting, I'm not going to go out of my way for it. And gonna still go up here. We're gonna knock out Zora's domain real quick. Um, there's four treasure chests worth up here at this point, so it could be worth it. That's as many or that's about on par with most of the levels that are left for a lot less. <laughs> Silver arrows means that literally the only thing we have left to do is swords. Um, we technically don't need the gold sword. It means that Ganon takes twice as many hits during his early phase, which sucks, but it's doable. <laughs> I would prefer not to do it. <laughs> hey, another bottle. That could be worth it. Especially since we don't have half magic. Uh, Link walks slower when he's trudging through water or in tall grass. So in this case, we're going to walk all the way along the grass path top. Since we already have flippers. Let's see what King Zora gives us. Full investment. 500 for 20. Um, 
trying to think if there's anything else off in that's really important to do right now besides just doing the levels. Like, at this point, the big thing that not doing the levels saves us is if it's a lot faster. <laughs> um... We can skip large chunks of the levels if we happen to find the sword early. I mean, we don't have to do the second cycle through Ice Palace. See? This is why we check these things. <laughs> okay. So I'm thinking Tempered Sword, Swamp... Pa actually, let's do Tempered Sword Misery Mire. Misery Mire is actually not a huge dungeon, and, like, just to go through it. There's not a lot of stuff in it, so there's not a lot of spots you have to check twice. Well... I guess... Sanctuary first for the heals. I'm really glad I checked that. Okay, so at this point, I think I'm just gonna do initiate go mode, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna go pick up the tempered sword quick. It's not like it's super hard to get. If I happen to come across, there's a really good chance that we're gonna find the tempered or the gold sword along the way, and that if I forgot anything, I'll think of it along the way. <laughs> tempered sword could also be like in the pyramid, or I mean, there's lots of other places it could be. It could also just show up during one of the dungeons. Nah. 
Let me put the mirror so I don't accidentally use it. So this cave we or this dungeon we actually don't need to grab all the chests, but it's not super out of the way, so we're gonna grab the ones that are on the way at least. I'm not gonna do the western half. Um, and the reason for that is because we can technically beat the game right now, I believe. I believe! I might be wrong. I will laugh so hard if I'm wrong and I need to backtrack through these dungeons, but I'm pretty sure I'm good. Technically, we can just beat the game, or beat the level right. This is the part that we can skip. Uh, I'm actually gonna go down here real quick. This is not a super out of the way one. It's two chests that are only one room more. Doesn't require a bunch of stuff. Actually, it's only one chest, I lied. I am a lying liar who lies. We're not going to go west here. We just need the key and the hook shot to get through here. Super out of the way. There's two chests in here, I believe. Yeah. After having done that boss with a uh, hammer and hookshot and no sword, I feel fairly confident in it at this point. <laughs> Under whatever conditions I end up.
Wait, what's the other dungeon I still have to do? Lost Woods. Let's see if I've got the right medallion. Probably should have checked first. Two out of three shot and two treasure chests here that might be it. Kidding me? Oh my gosh. gonna try and do this in one shot and I was feeling pretty good until that point I was gonna just press through even though uh, it's getting close to bedtime and I'm obviously getting a little sleepy and I've played a lot of games today we're gonna finish this some other time <laughs> we really at this point I believe we just need the gold sword and the quake medallion we can go back through, do the western side of Swamp Palace. We can do um, Lost Woods. We can do Ice Palace. And if we don't find the Quake Medallion by the end of that, then we start doing little diddly side things. So, three dungeons, four dungeons, three and a half something. That's going to take longer than I'm willing to do right now. So, stay tuned. If you want to see how it ends, uh, give me a subscribe and you'll know when it comes out. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you like these runs, there's a lot of them floating around. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. If you would like to make fun of me, please feel free. <laughs> I was terrible this time. Uh, and... As always, have a good one.